3 in the diagram on the right, the tangent to the curve, this one, at P2, so we know this one is tangent. So intersect as as is. So we know that this one intersect this one and this one is the line of tangent. The normal P, so we know that this one is line of tangent and this one is equation of normal. Alright. At R. So intersect at R. So we have R here. Find the value of A and B. So we know here that what we can, right, we can get from the equation Y is equal to AX cubed minus 4X plus B. So this one is the equation. So we know that equation of tangent DY over DX. This is equal to. So 3 we bring forward. We get 3A. So X 3 minus 1 we get 2 minus. So 4X we just take 4. So this one is a. Uh, this one is the gradient of tangent. But what else do we have here? We have P and Q. We know that this one is on the same line, which is on the line of tangent. So we can find the gradient. So P is 2, 1 and Q is 1, 1 over 2 is actually 3 over 2, 0. So we can find the gradient from here. So M is actually Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So this one is the first one. We find this one first and then this one, right? So this one is actually X1, Y1. This one is X2, Y2. So Y2 is 1 minus Y1 is 0. X2 is 2 minus X1 is 3 over 2. So this one we get 1. Three, 2 minus 3 over 2 is actually 4 over 2 minus 3 over 2. We get 1 over 2, which is 1 times 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. So we know that here our uh, gradient of tangent is 2. So here we know that dy over dx. So at this point, at P to 1, this one is actually dy, one. dy over dx is equal to 3ax square minus 4. Where dy over dx at this point is 2. And we know that 3ax is equal to 2 square minus 4. x is equal to 2, right? According to this p. Okay, so 2 is equal to 3 times 2 square is 3 times 4 is 12a minus 4. So we bring 4 to the other side. 2 plus 4 is equal to 12a. So 6 is equal to 12a. So a is basically 6 over 12 or 1 over 2. So here we know that A is equal to 1 over 2. Okay, for B, we couldn't find it from equation of dy over dx, right? But from here, A x cubed minus 4 x plus B. So we know at this point, which is 2, 1. So we know the value of x, we know the value of y, and we already know the value of A. So if we substitute everything, the only value that we don't know is B. So we can find B. So here when y is equal to 1, a is 1 over 2, x is 2 cubed minus 4, x is 2 plus b. So 1, this one is equal to half time a. This one is actually we get 4 minus 4 times 2 is 8 plus b. So 1 is equal to 4 minus 8 plus b. So 1 is equal to negative 4 plus b. So b is equal to, so we bring to the other side, 1 plus 4. So here we get 5. So here we know that B is equal to 5. B, equation of normal at point P. So we know just now from A, we calculate that M is equal to 2, right? So we know that this one 2, when the gradient of tangent M is equal to 2, so gradient of normal M1, M2 is equal to negative 1. This one is the formula we use when it is perpendicular. So we know that Tangent and normal is perpendicular to each other. So M2 is equal to negative 1 divided by M1 which is negative 1 divided by 2. So here we get ne uh, negative 1 over 2. So equation of normal at point P. So Y minus Y1 is equal to MX minus X1. So Y minus Y1 is equal to. So this one P is just now 2, 1. So Y minus 1 is equal to. So M is negative half x minus x1 is 2. So y minus y1 is equal to negative half times x, we get negative half x. Negative half times 2, we get positive 2 over 2 or plus 1. So y minus 1 is equal to negative half x plus 1. So here we bring negative 1 to the other side. So here we get y is equal to negative half x. Negative 1, we become positive 1, right? Positive 1 
plus 1 so y is equal to negative half x plus so for example if you want to multiply everything with 2 so 2y is equal to negative x plus 4 so 2y plus x is equal to 4 or 2y plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 I mean uh, this one this 3 is also acceptable any one of this I mean even if you want to do in the intersection form x plus a plus y over b is equal to negative 1 also can I mean any one convenience lah alright so this one y is equal to negative half x plus 2 so the coordinates of r we know that r is on this point so r is on this line so we know that at r so this one is on the x axis so y is equal to 0 so we just give it as x1 0 so y is equal to negative half x plus 2 if y is equal to 0 0 is equal to negative half x plus 2 half x is equal to 2 so we bring to the other side so x is equal to 2 times 2 which is equal to 4 so we know that this one when y is equal to 0 x is equal to 4 so the coordinates of r this one is 4 0 so d the area of triangle p q r so p q r so we have all the value right so here p is 2 1 so Q is 3 over 2, 0. So R is 4, 0. And so the area of triangle, you have to use this 3 point. So half. So you have to, if you have 3 points, so actually if you start from PQR, so PQR start with P again. But I actually love to start with the one with 0 because anything multiply with 0, you will get 0. So I want to start with R. So R, P, Q and make sure you come back at R. So you must have 1, 2, 3, 4 here. You can start with any point. But then if you start with R, finish with R. Start with P and with P. So, so this one is 4, 0. So P is 2, 1. This one is 3 over 2, 0. And our R is 4, 0. Which is equal to half. Okay, so up to down, we have to multiply and add. 4 times 1 is 4. So just 4. 2 times 0 is 0, so plus 0. 3 over 2 times 0 is 0, plus 0. Okay, and then down to up, we have 2 minus, minus. 0 times 2 is 0. 1 times 3 over 2 is 3 over 2, right? So minus 3 over 2. 0 times 4 is 0, right? So minus 0, we don't have to write. So I just love it, and I don't know, I just love like... Uh, taking the one with negative to put it front and back because you have to do it two times so it will be easier since anything multiply with zero you will get zero but depends if you do p in front p q r p you will still get the same answer you can try so this one is four minus three over two it's actually four times two is eight over two minus three over two half five over two so this one is actually half 5 over 2 because the value is positive, right? So you get 5 over 4. So this one is in unit square.